Today is April 9, 2016. This is a day two of this dog with tick fever being uh, watered. Now the problem is the clotting of the catheter. So the flow stops, so I have to take a syringe and, and flush away the blood clot so that the flow can continue. And actually you can see it's very slow, but at least it's dripping. It has dripped overnight together with 2.5 ml of vitamin K1. And actually, if you see the color of the tongue, today is 10 a.m. now, you can actually see results that the tongue is definitely pinker after the imazole injection 0.2 ml at uh, subcutaneous at 3 p.m. yesterday. Now the day yesterday was near day one and uh, the gums were very pale if you can see the video but I'm very surprised today that you can see that uh, the color the color of the gums now the color of the gums actually pinker you can see and the dog is uh, more active and uh, only that he doesn't eat at all but it now the veins are almost thrombosed on on the left uh, the right four on the left four this is the last hope so I'm, I have to make sure that it keeps flowing last night there was one whole bottle of Hartman with vitamin K1, 2.5 ml being infused and uh, the platelets must rise so that uh, the dog has a better chance of survival the hemoglobin and red cell counts were low so the dog should uh, should have increased production now I'm very happy to, to see that you can see the tongue pink as 3 p.m. to now, now is uh, 10 a.m. so about 19 hours after Imazol injection and uh, the temperature is at 38.5 which is normal and uh, the owner did come in to see the dog the dog gave a buck to the owner and as to whether this dog will survive or not we don't know because much depends on the on the low platelets. The platelets was uh, was less than ten yesterday morning when I took another blood test, and also the hemoglobin and red blood cells were low as well. Leukocytes were a bit raised, and neutrophils were a bit raised. But uh, other than that, you can see that this dog actually seems to be more interested in uh, in the surroundings compared to before admission according to the owner he, he was lethargic and lying down now as far as as uh, the results of Imazo is concerned the only test of the result is when the dog really recovers from from the babesiosis now the blood smear had already shown a high percentage of red blood cells being being uh, infested with baby seer and uh, this was shown to the owner the blood smear earlier on when he came today now if this dog can eat of course it'll be very good yeah. now I'm giving Hartman again Hartman solution plus plus uh, those are the vitamin B complex. B complex. Now, obviously, the dog does need iron injection, which I will give soon, and an antibiotic injection. I have just stringed the catheter. That's why it's still flowing, as you can see. Oh, this is very slow. It's very slow, even if I give the maximum. Maximum. Uh, Unblock of unobstructed flow. Now we we'll wait till the afternoon and see how the dogs progress. Appetite wise is zero. Passed a lot of urine due to the drip. 
and not dehydrated. You can see it's not so dehydrated. The skin is not, not standing up. And uh, let's have a look again at the mucous membrane, which if you compare to the previous video, if you compare to the previous video, you can see definitely it, there's some pink pink uh, color indicating blood production. The red blood cells are being produced instead of being destroyed. And uh, the dog is of course happier and more alert. Top by your vets. Day 2, April 8, 2016, babesiosis in a poodle, one year old. The, the dog went to another vet early on, 23rd of March for lethargy and also 30th of March for a repeat consultation of the same condition. The dog did recover a bit after the IV drips. So after 30th of uh, March, which is 8 days ago or 9 days ago from today, today is 7th of April, the dog became lethargic again on, the, on the yesterday. So the owner came and you would have seen the gums were really snow white and the blood test shows very low red blood cell hemoglobin and very low platelets at 10 so there was also babesia smear visual positive babesiosis and I gave an injection yesterday at 3pm Imazo 0.2 ml SC and uh, today the dog appears to have better response, recovery. The only problem is that we don't have any more veins to do the IV drip. That's the only problem. But uh, we will wait and see. The next four days we will know whether the dog survives or not. Yesterday the drip, one bottle of Hartman with vitamin K1 was infused without without uh, stopping overnight yeah. so the dog is no, not dehydrated and uh, the K1 will help in the blood production reverse cell production I will give iron injection plus another dose of uh, antibiotics as the dog may have also concurrent infections